Hi, I'm Angie and I wrote a book about cake pops. If you've heard of cake pops or maybe even already made some yourself, then you probably already know me as Bakerella. I've been baking and blogging for the last few years at Bakerella.com and making lots of cake pops along the way. If you've never heard of a cake pop or never seen one, then you're in for a real treat. Cake pops are basically cake crumbled and mixed with frosting. They're rolled into small balls and dipped into melted candy coating using a lollipop stick. It may sound like a lot of steps, but they're really easy to make. So I'll walk you through some of the basic steps for making cake pops now. To make basic cake pops, you really only need four things. Cake, frosting, candy melts, and lollipop sticks. To get ready to crumble your cake, go ahead and cut it into four equal sections. Just break it in half like this, and then you can rub the two pieces together over a large bowl. After your cake is crumbled, you can go ahead and add your frosting. Then you can mix it together with the cake crumbs. Just continue stirring until it's completely combined. After your cake and frosting is mixed together, you can take a little bit in your hands and roll it into a ball. You can place the now cake balls on a wax paper covered baking sheet. Once you've rolled out all your cake balls, you can put them in the freezer for about 15 minutes. Uh, you don't want them to be frozen, so after about 15 minutes, put them in the refrigerator and let them stay chilled there. And while they're chilling, you can prepare the candy melts. I've melted my candy coating and my cake balls are ready to go. So to dip, take a lollipop stick, insert it into the candy coating just about a half inch, take it out and insert it straight into the cake ball. Don't go more than halfway. Then insert it into the candy coating and remove it just like that. You don't want to stir it around, so once you remove it, it should be completely coated, and then if you have any excess, you can tap it off, but if not, like here, you'll see it start to drip. So just hold it in your left hand and tap your wrist to get a gentle, a gentle motion. So once you think it's done, go ahead and place it in your styrofoam block to dry. And you're submerging in the candy coating. Just make sure you go straight in. You can rock it a little bit if you need to, but ultimately you want to dip it, get it completely covered, and then lift it straight back up. You want to make sure the coating touches the stick at the base. And whatever you do, just don't stir it in the candy melts. If you stir it, if you stir it in the melts, you'll loosen the cake pop from the stick and make it less secure. So just dip and remove. When you're dipping your cake pops, you can either leave them in the color you dipped them in or you can also add sprinkles. You just wanna add the sprinkles to the cake pops before the coating sets and you get a whole different look. And just let them dry in your styrofoam block. So that's how you make cake pops. And for more fun projects like cupcakes and owls and robots and clowns and ice cream cones, check out the book Cake Pops, available this fall.